how much trouble Caleb would have. Mm -hmm. We have the exact same shorts. <laughs> oh, cause of jeans. Jeans, gotcha. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. All right. So this is. You can Seth, look at this, Caleb, Seth, for reference. Hold the phone. <laughs> wow, you're All right. So, mean here now. so I'm gonna tell a story about this time I was playing Pokemon, because okay. I've got a very interesting story for Pokemon. Uh, when I was growing up, I, I loved Pokemon Crystal. Um, Pokemon Crystal was like was like my favorite. It still is like my favorite Pokemon game. I uh, I played it a lot. I like the short painted nail aesthetic. What's the short? Oh, you mean having short nails and having them painted? Yeah. Yeah. I, so dude, I can't stand long nails, but like, I, I uh, surprisingly enough, I wasn't uh, planning on on this, but um, it happened. Uh, this the, actually the nail polish is like a last second yeah, like, incentive. We just like added it, but then it turns out people wanted it. Uh, and really, anytime, really badly. Cat, all right, I'm gonna tell the story. Okay, so so I I was playing Pokemon, and it, usually when I play Pokemon, I had this really bad problem where I wouldn't save. Ever, um, and it, it caught it, it caught me in so many problems. I, I had I had so many issues because I um, I never I never I never I, I just didn't save, so I would lose so much progress. Uh, also, I had this thing to where I would always carry around one really good Pokemon, but then um, uh, just have really crappy rest of them. You know, just have to be the, the one Pokemon guy. That's not a strategy I advise. I I advise evenly distributing levels through all the Pokemon. Uh, that's that's my Pat's Pat's Pokemon professional advice, professional Pokemon advice. Wait, did you hear that? Uh, Pat's professional Pokemon. Yeah, Pat's professional Pokemon um, preference. Pat's professional pro Pokemon preference is to train all the Pokemon equally. However, I didn't do that as a kid, Patrick's and I went on to. Professional I, Pokemon I, preference. I, I went, P O V. All right, I I went to um. <laughs> just trying I, to tell us. You're gonna want to make sure that's um horizontal too, because I think it just switched to vertical for some reason. I'm sorry. Triggered. Um, if you if you lock the rotation, it locks it at vertical for some reason. Um, so so I went to this uh, Team Rocket's place, right? Got the classic baddies, the classic Team Rocket baddies. I went there and um, I was making it through the entire entire place up to the top until I got to the the final boss, the big guy. Um, Is it fixed? It might have been Giovanni himself. I don't remember. How do you fix it? You have to tilt the tripod a bit to the to the left or right. Or that works too. Um, or maybe maybe something's wrong with the Discord. Let me see. But yeah, so I yeah, it's definitely vertical right now. Oh, you gotta go like this. Then. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mute it. I should mute it. Oh, it just goes back. This isn't what they're seeing, right? What? They're not seeing this, right? No, no, no. We're still okay, setting. Okay, good. Um. So so I I got over to the final place, um, and and. I, I got to like the final guy. I was crushing everyone with an onyx, I think it was. Um, but I, oh, there, I need some exhibition before that. I'm sorry. I started a little bit earlier. In Crystal, if you if you if you sail down to like this left in the left map map area, I don't remember the names too much. But you, it's where the, wherever the steel gym is. If you sail down to the left, there's this one house with a guy in it that asks you to take care of his shuckle. Uh, if you guys don't know what a shuckle it is, it, it is it's probably the ugliest Pokemon I have ever seen. Uh, when I when I first got it, I was like, this thing just looks totally ridiculous and uh it's like a shell with spaghetti coming out of it it's so stupid looking it's actually an all right pokemon because it has really high defense um of course at the time you know i didn't know that i was just like this guy is the stupidest pokemon i've ever seen so i decided to uh i, I went to the name changers for starters and i named him a really really unflattering name i don't remember what it was <laughs> probably the most unflattering name i could think of back then was was stupid head or something like that so i i i named him a very unflattering name i took him to the move the uh, move changer to change his moves. Um, I wanted to get rid of all of his moves. I learned he couldn't do that. You have to keep one. So what I decided to do is I taught it Flash, which is an HM that is really good for uh, brighten up caves. So it's it's useful and stuff, but it's not it's not useful in in combat at all. It makes uh well a little bit. It it makes Pokemon less accurate. But that's all I taught the Shuckle was Flash, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that I have the Shuckle on me, who's got the worst name and um. And only has one move. I was like, "This is this is uh, perfect." Because I hate this guy so much. And then, um, and then I went to the Team Rocket's place. Started killing everybody with Onyx. Turns out that when I got to, um, turns out that when I got to uh, Giovanni, uh, my Onyx struggled and died uh, uh, against this Weezing. I got all of his Pokemon except for this one Weezing. And this Weezing got my uh, Onyx. And then he got all the rest of the Pokemon I had. And I was like, "Well, shoot! I'm out of Pokemon. I, I have to restart this whole place. I haven't saved." So I had to restart everything from the beginning. Uh, so I was, I was bummed out about that. 
Um, but then I was like, wait, hold up. There's still one more Pokemon. Turns out I still had that Shuckle in my inventory. Uh, so I was like, all right, just send out this Shuckle. It's the last second thing. Uh, sure enough, I just kept using Flash because that's all I had. This Weezing had terrible accuracy and it kept trying to attack and it would miss. I, if it if it hit Shuckle, it would be a one-hit kill, but it just kept missing. I kept using Flash, make it more inaccurate. I just kept using Flash. That's all I had. I kept doing it until eventually Flash didn't affect it anymore because its accuracy was already so low. I think it got ended up getting like one hit on Shuckle at some point, and it got down to one hit point or something. Really low, really red low. Um, so I just kept using Flash, even though it wasn't doing anything. I was like, I don't know what else to do. And then I kid you not, the Weezing ended up using Self-Destruct. And it missed. So the Weezing killed itself and missed. So I didn't take any damage. And my one Shuckle ended up surviving through that Weezing. It was it was crazy. I, I ended up surviving. And of course, as soon as I was done, I was like, save, 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 save. Smash the save button. Uh, so I was able to beat the final boss with a Shuckle when all my other Pokemon died. So that's that was pretty crazy for me. Um... Of course, right after that, I started repenting to the Shuckle. I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I went back to the name. I gave it just a regular Shuckle again. I was like, you at least deserve the respect to have your own name, regardless of how stupid you look. And I went to the moves, and I taught it some good moves. And I think I actually returned it to the person, because I think you can, you can like, return it to him at some point. I don't know what he gives you for it. I honestly don't remember. I haven't played Crystal in ages, at least not uh, thoroughly. And um, I, so I ended up giving back the Shuckle, and then I was like, all right, this... Uh, I was like, this Shuckle deserves more than to be with me if I just train one Pokemon. This guy deserves better because he was able to survive all that. So yeah, that was my pretty cool Pokemon story. Um, uh, I, I I think the crystal cartridge that's in my house, it's kind of, it's broken pretty much. I think, it's, yeah, it's basically broken. Sometimes or once in a while it work. It still has that save file on there, I think. And I don't know how I could get it off because it's, it's broken, but I would love to just uh, uh, see if I could get that Shuckle back and and like just relive that experience just be like oh my gosh you know go through that nostalgia anyway that that was just my pokemon story uh truth be told i forgot that i was even doing a transition so i just threw through whatever story was with me if you guys are in chat we've got some people in chat oh yes i'm sorry i forgot to read this uh hey i'm hungry um yes you uh you are my favorite crystal is my favorite crystal is my favorite too it's got a lot of good things going for it and that's not an unpopular opinion a lot of people uh certainly like crystal it's, it's certainly a good game uh, wow, you play exactly like me. Uh, do I play exactly like you used to? Pff, I always train up my starter, Totile. Yeah, you always get Totile. Uh, Totodile, sorry. And Wreck from then on, screw again, any other Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, it's worked for some people, you know. I can't say it's the worst strategy. Um, I just think I get more fun from the game if I have at least six Pokemon that are like my main that I, I stay with good. But hey, whatever works for you works with you. Totodile is definitely the best starter to get, though, because just the way it matches up with gems in the early game. It'll help you a lot with uh, with gems. Well, if you get Cyndaquil or something, you're gonna struggle from the early beginning. And you want you don't want to struggle at the beginning. You want to struggle at the end with Pokemon games. That's how it goes. Ever since I have not played, ever since Crystal, I have not played a, a Pokemon game that's quite recaptivated my joy. But um, I have I have played some more Pokemon games that I I really liked. Diamond and Pearl, I I was very fond of, and I know that's funny because like a lot of people didn't like Diamond and Pearl. Um, uh, if I played it again, I might not like it as much as I do. But I, I, one thing I really liked was the progression. I always felt like leveling up my Pokemon was happening at just the right time for me. It, it wasn't taking too long, I guess. And that's kind of a problem I had with um, some other Pokemon games, like Sapphire and uh, Emerald and stuff. Just, like, it would take too long to, to level up. But um, Diamond, Diamond and Pearl is a... Is a Diamond Pearl is a fun one. But uh, then later, later I played... Um, uh, uh, Black and White 2, I was so surprised by how good the, that game was. It was just White 2, actually. White 2 was, was really good. It's basically an extension of Diamond and Pearl. It was, uh, it, it, it was like running the same engine and stuff, and the progression was way nice. I loved the progression. That, the progression felt the best in White 2. Um, it felt like every time I would, I would go out through this area, and I would fight all the trainers with my Pokemon. All my all my Pokemon would, would be leveled up like two levels or something. And by the time I finished, I could fight the gym, um, and I would be just barely weaker than the train uh, trainers at the gym. So every time I fought a trainer, I would be leveling up. It was never like I was better than a trainer, just because the game was progressed so perfectly, uh, at least for me, to where every time I saw a trainer, he was just a little bit higher than me, so I could get a little more experience from him, and I loved that. I, I didn't get that. Uh, 
too much from other Pokemon games. I played uh, Y, and it, it really didn't fancy me. The, I didn't like a lot of the choices they made for single player. Um, I played a Nuzlocke and lost my starter early on. I'm telling you, everything is so difficult without it. No, yeah, there's no doubt about the uh, the starter just being a, a lot better than most other Pokemon. Plus, since you have it from the beginning, you have so many opportunities to level it up and stuff. So, um, it's it's... It's definitely something you don't want to lose, especially in a Nuzlocke. I was actually doing a, a, a uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke, a Crystal Nuzlocke, specifically on my channel a while back. I haven't uploaded a, a video of that in a while because I've been working on other videos. But, um, uh, yeah, I, I still haven't lost my, my Pokemon in that, and hopefully I don't whenever I pick it up again. Sapphire is my second favorite. I liked uh, Diamond slash Pearl, too. Yeah, Sapphire, that, now that's kind of a, um, a less common choice for people's favorite games. That one typically uh, gets rated a little poorly, but I have seen some who say that's their favorite game and stuff, so um, it's, I'm not saying it's completely out of the question. Plus, what other people think of games is not a depiction of how you should see it Other also. I guess everyone else left. They're probably taking a breather. Guys, it's a sauna in here. I'm not going to lie. Um, I actually liked Yellow because of the nostalgia. Yeah, Yellow, I like Yellow too. I think I think especially for the time, if you, if you take in account the time of which it came out um it, it's totally a fun game um i have a little trouble playing it now just because it's it's aged you know a little bit and there's some some things just like running and uh riding a bike and stuff and um a little bit wonky controls here and there with yellow like not being able to turn certain corners and whatnot very easily uh and the visual bugs and stuff it it does make it a little bit difficult for me to play again, um, but I certainly think for its time it, w it was it was really good. And I, I think I would say it's it's definitely the um, the evolved version of of Red and Blue, like it should be. I would prefer that over Red and Blue because there is a lot of bug fixes from there and makes the game just generally more enjoyable. Um, and now now um, oh shoot, I was bring, about to bring something else up about Pokemon. Um, I can't remember what it is. You guys got all the game set up? Wow, look yeah. at you. You got it. And then the camera is set up pretty good for that too. So we're going to switch over the camera in like four minutes. I do want to talk a little more about Pokemon. I guess this has become the Soda Popcast only, Pat only edition where he just talks about video games. I didn't get to do that this month, so I'm pretty excited. Hey, Smash 5 is coming. Is anyone hyped about that? Yes. I know I'm hyped. Uh, well, supposedly Smash 5. They still haven't confirmed if it's Smash 5 or Smash 4 Remake. But here's my theory. I know. Here's a crazy Nintendo guy with a Smash theory. Uh, my theory is that because the Smash Brothers logo, when they announced it, because it didn't imply 4, because it didn't say 4, like it didn't say remake or anything like that, I can't imagine Nintendo getting people hyped like that for something that's not going to happen. I feel like they would be smart enough to know that they should put 4 remake so that people don't think it's 5, because if people think it's 5 and then it's not going to be 5... That's going to be a probably a pre PR problem for them, I imagine. It could be, it, I could be wrong, right? But like, I'd imagine for the amount of people who'd be disappointed that's not going to be five, I can't see Nintendo making that mistake. I mean, Nintendo makes some weird decisions every once in a while, but I, 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 I fully, I like ninety, I ninety percent think that it's going to be Smash Five, or maybe they're going to do both. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if they did both this now, some on the same day, kind of like they did with um Smash Four Wii U and Smash Four 3DS. I like it because of how it's always a challenge. For example, in Crystal, you need a level 40-ish to, um, to sweep the Elite Four, but in Sapphire, it's a lot higher. Oh, I see, yeah, so Sapphire is harder then. I've never actually uh, completed Sapphire, but I, I, I totally understand what you mean by the difficulty. In, in the newer games, from my experience, uh, like when I played Y, it was the easiest thing I've ever played. Like, it's certainly aimed towards an easier audience, and I think that's just in general the audience... Um, has has changed over the years oh, you know man, so we uh kids used to have um higher higher uh uh, uh, uh what's it called metabolism not metabolism Sorry, i didn't come i came in in the wrong kids, time. kids kids had a higher um uh attention span that's what i'm looking for so like harder games like that would make more sense where you can just totally grind and stuff um I, I, I still miss that. I still miss that a lot because when I play Y, I just breeze through everything so easily to the point where I, I just legitimately didn't want to finish the game. I was like, this is just too easy for me. Now, from what I hear, the new Pokemon games are continually, continuously getting better at the multiplayer. They keep adding more things to affect the meta and, and more complex and stuff, and that's exactly what people want, so that's great. They're also adding more Pokemon, and a large portion of people who play Pokemon just want to catch all the Pokemon. And that's great for them that the Pokemon games are still helping them out. It's just for me... Who, when I play Pokemon games, I just like to play the main adventure mode and try to level up good Pokemon and then beat it. I don't try to go Pokemon hunting really. I don't go shiny hunting. I don't um, don't play online really. So, I it's it's 
I it, for me the game the game's targeting an audience that's not myself, and I'm I'm disappointed that that I, I can't get the single player the great single player experience I got with um Crystal. I haven't tried um uh, Alpha Alpha Ruby and Omega Sapphire, and I haven't tried like like the new one Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I don't know if those are out yet. <laughs> I haven't been keeping tabs on the Pokemon business just because I'm I was so disappointed with not having a very good um, story mode. So anyway, that's Pat's tangent of the Pokemon attention span. Yep, thank you for mentioning that. Um. Should I get yeah. everyone in here? Should what? Should yeah. I get everyone in here? Yeah, you should, actually. Because we're going to be starting, like, right now. I'm hoping Daniel knows about what's going on. You should go get him. I would, but... Yeah. What? Is he asleep? No, he's not asleep. I checked. Is he coming? He's... Hopefully, hopefully he's not battling the habaneros. Let me just say that. Oh. Alright. Uh, well, if you want to get Caleb, then. Alright. Uh, I'll get Caleb for sure. 